After losing a terrible game, she managed wow. to pick herself up and win five in a row. Carissa, let me say congratulations for being the U.S. Women's Champion for 2021. Thank you. How does it feel right now? I guess it still hasn't really sunk in, but uh, I'm so happy I can't stop smiling. So, I mean, I was really surprised to win this game because I was like, I was mostly thinking like, yeah, Nazi's like really solid with white. I'll just probably have to fight out for a draw and then, and then tomorrow just try not to lose. So this was really a surprise. You played an opening that we thought was a little bit shaky-ish, <laughs> like you didn't go solid. Instead you played an opening, the hippo, that normally doesn't have a great reputation. Yeah, I don't know. After, um, after she played D4, my prep was, I guess it was kind of iffy because I was like, I don't know what I'm going to play, so I'm just going to look at like a bunch of different openings. And then while I was thinking about it, I was like, I feel like I'm fine entering like the modern and like the hippo and stuff. So that's what I went for. All right. You did get a very a cagey type position. And then just when it looked like she was getting a grip on those light squares, you played this, this uh, speculative attack with H5. And then it was right at this moment that she played a move that we fell off our chairs to see, the move F4. What did you feel when you saw the move land on the board? I mean, I was so surprised at F4. She, so she can't take on like G5 if she doesn't play F4, right? Because there's H4 and then after G4, like Bishop takes G4 ideas, which was right. what I was going for. That sacrifice does seem yeah. to be enough compensation. But then I thought if she kind of just like sat around, I wouldn't be able to do anything. Because, um... The engine does give knight a2, is, is saying it's very solid for her. Yeah, because, like, kind of the whole idea behind my h4 combination is that the pawn on f2 is left undefended after the bishop takes on g5. But here in this variation, um, the bishop's still on e3, so, so I don't really have any more of my tricks. And so I was very surprised by f4. I thought it gave me, like, a lot of, a lot of good options, but, um... To say the least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one I liked the most was kind of what I went for, like, with knight g4. So, and she was kind of already getting low on time here, so I thought it would be, like, really hard for her to play. Yeah, your attack just spoke uh, volumes by itself, and just a winning attack. And we just saw this real beat down as your queen showed up, and then she desperately tried to open up the game, pushing your pieces to just great squares, and you were able to finish this off in style, at the end, what a game. Carissa, you beat four former champions in this tournament. That has never been done in the women's game, ever. Only twice in the open. What are your thoughts about doing that? I mean, it's very crazy, but it wasn't, um, I didn't know that it was kind of like the first time this had happened. So, so yeah, kind of a surprise, I guess. Pleasant surprise. Pleasant indeed. Uh, you are now the champ. You've got Friends who no doubt have been supporting you through this event, what do you think they're feeling right at this moment? And would you like to thank anyone? Um, yeah, first I want to thank um, the Kasparov Trust Foundation for supporting me. They've been, uh, I've been working with them for like quite a few years now, so it's really great. Um, I feel like it's done a lot for my growth as a chess player. And I also want to thank my friends who are watching. Um, everyone's like been texting me after the round and they're all like, let's go. And it's, it's really, it's really nice to see them following so closely. And I um, want to thank my parents, of course, because I couldn't be here without them. And they're probably watching right now. So, <laughs> hi, guys. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. And, yeah. Unbelievable, fantastic results. Let me just say, you know, we had to pick a winner in this event oh, from the oh, very beginning. Goes, and there are a couple of people who have faith in you. <laughs> me and Var, don't pay attention to the peanut gallery over there as they peanuts, didn't pick peanuts. you. <laughs> just, let's just get it straight. So one, one check mark for, for uh, this side. Uh, Carissa, fantastic, fantastic performance. Uh, the way you won, brilliant. Now, you've got one game to go. It doesn't matter for the score itself, but a lot of times you win the second to last game and you get everything. That last game becomes a downer. What is your attitude going into that game? I mean, I don't really want it to like affect my mindset, so I'll just go into the game as usual and uh, see how it goes. But most of the stress is off me now, so.
All right, keep a little bit of that stress. You want to make it six in a row if possible. <laughs> Congratulations. You are the U.S. Women's Champion for 2021. Uh, Carissa, first of all, our congratulations. congratulations. From the peanut gallery over <laughs> here, well done. Um, it's been a source of speculation on a panel uh, who you work with as a trainer. I, I said that in the past it had been Larry Christensen. I know you're a Samford fellow, which allows you to choose basically any trainer you'd like. Uh, the support is, the financial support is that great. Who have you been working with? You mentioned the Kasparov Chess Foundation. Uh, tell us. Um, yeah, so in recent years, I don't really have a very steady coach. Okay. Usually I just work with, um, I work with people once, like right before a big tournament. Um, but like on the usual, I don't really, don't really do much. Okay. Um, so I would have to say, Probably Alex Onishuk I've been working with for oh. these few years, so, yeah. Nice, so big shout out to Alex. Yes, uh, shout out some, to him. Something's working between you two, again. Carissa, right. first of all, my congratulations. At the middle uh, of the tournament, it's felt, it felt like you were in a slump. But after that, Maurice roasted you. <laughs> Was that a catalyst for your revival, winning five games in a row and winning a national championship? Definitely, you know, I was, I was so hurt by Luis Rose. I was like, this yeah. can't ever happen again. I have to play, to play so much better. I can't. That's can't what, that's how we do. That shows your toughness. That shows that you can take criticism and shows you're a champion. And that's how it works. If I had roasted Christian, uh, Christian would have just wilted. Oh, 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 why'd you say that, Marie? So could you? Shrinking but that's not how That's not how champions do. That's how it works. We'll be honest. When you play bad, you play bad. When you play great, you're a champ. That's how we like it. Yes. Again, bingo, as we say, five in a row. Well done. Thank and you. good luck, Carissa, in the last game. Don't lose your focus. <laughs> yes, I won't. Hopefully. Celebrate your victories. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have, Chris? And there, and there it, it is. is. Wow. Once again. Applause. Carissa Applause. Ip, Applause. your 2021 U.S. Women's Champion. Well done, young lady. Fantastic.